Welcome back to Ferris Sports Update. Time to talk tennis. And with us, head coach Mark Dorn. And coach, welcome to the show. Uh, thanks, Brian. I know your team uh, obviously off to a great start on the women's side, four and one in the GLIAC. And maybe talk about where you, where you're at here after a few weeks of conference play. Yeah, it's an exciting spot to be. Uh, four and one. Last year we finished the year four and five. So we've obviously reached our our goal from last year to to have a better year. But uh, I think we've come out uh, of the blocks really strong, and uh, and the girls really feel positive about how we've started. So I think it's been an exciting start. You won your first two matches, then you had a little bit of a time off after. Uh, those first two matches, you went to the ITA regionals and then uh, right back into conference play with three big matches this past week. Yeah, it was great to have the ITAs follow up our, our first two matches. I was a little leery of it at first, uh, but it gave us an opportunity to work on some things. And uh, and it really showed in the first match out of the box against Grand Valley. Obviously, uh, taking on Grand Valley last Wednesday at the Racket and Fitness Center in a highly competitive match that, that went down to the wire. Yeah, it was it was an exciting match. Uh, Came down to one match, 5-4 uh, in the third set, had a couple match points, but just a couple bounces didn't go her way, but it still it just shows that we are that close to Grand Valley, who th who's won the Goliath the last two years, and, and we're right in there with them. Got off to a great start, won two of the three doubles matches. How important is it to get that, that first point in the match? It was great. Uh, we After the ITAs, we kind of had a goal of working on doubles for pretty much every practice. Uh, we knew how important it was, and we were really a little behind uh, a lot of the teams in the conference in doubles, so we really focused on a lot, and it really showed. I mean, that was exciting doubles. We came out moving real, really well and, and stayed very aggressive, and it's great to get that first point to move into singles. As we see some of the highlights from the match, I know obviously uh, your team loves uh, playing inside at the Racket and Fitness Center and uh, certainly works to your advantage. Yeah, that was great. Even the single doesn't quite show even the full crowd. It was, it was loud, and a lot of people don't realize that a tennis match can get loud. And so it's a huge home court advantage to be able to have that. And the... The ladies really feed off it really well. I mean, it's a sport that they, you know, grew up with a quiet setting, and, and they didn't really ever get that feeling, and now they have it, and it, it was awesome. It was really, really good. I know, obviously, a, a big match in the GLIAC, and one that uh, we could see repeated before it's all said and done here. Yeah, we, we really want our re rematch at the, the conference tournament, so we're, we're hoping that it falls in line, that we get to go after them again. And, and they're strong. I mean, their top four singles players are some of the best the, the conference has seen in a long time. So uh, we hope we get the rematch, and, uh, and, and, and we'll get it. And, few weeks hopefully. 4-3 the final in that one and uh, you didn't have a whole lot of time really to, to reflect on that one as you, you had two big road matches this past weekend and maybe talk about the play uh, going on the road to Davenport first on Saturday. Yeah it was a weekend that we knew that uh, you know obviously we were probably going to be the favorite going into both matches but uh, we had a great practice on Friday knowing that you know we still had to take it you know very serious and go out and get it done and you know we show up on Saturday and ready to play Davenport and unfortunately they had uh, some players that uh, had gotten suspended from the from the team and so they didn't have a full lineup, so that's tough because we, you know, we go down there expecting to have about six or seven of our players get the opportunity to go on court, play, and, and get some match experience, and they only had four eligible players. So it was tough, but you know, we still had to focus and, and, and get after it. And you know, The atmosphere was a little low on the Davenport side, so we had to really battle through that and, and show some excitement there. So I think that we did really well given the circumstances. Maybe who have been some of your, your leaders here early on in terms of the returning players that uh, kind of led the way for you? Yeah, I mean, we have a couple captains, uh, Isabella Paschow and Madeline Grew, that have really led the way as far as leadership go. And then on court, uh, Agatha Clack has moved up the ranks from four singles now to two singles, uh, has, has really shown that uh, she's a leader off the court, on the court, and she's really stepped up big for us and just shown great competitiveness on the court, and she's had some great results. Followed up the, the win over Davenport uh, with a match at Purdue Northwest and got a, another 7 to nothing win uh, on Sunday. Yeah, that, that was a great match. I, it, they're a team that's very well coached. Uh, they go through and do the things that they need to do. Uh, we just fortunately were a little more talented than them this weekend and pulled out some close matches. Uh, but it was fun. It, it's a great match to get down there. Lucian, the head coach at Purdue Northwest, really gets his girls prepared no matter you know what level they're at. And, uh, and they fought really hard. And I thought that uh, in some close matches, uh, my ladies really came through and, and, and stayed focused. This week, uh, back at home again as you host uh, both Lake Superior and Michigan Tech at the Racket, Racket and Fitness Center on Saturday and Sunday. Maybe maybe talk about these two matches and the fact you're back at home uh, here for the, maybe the final time here in the fall. Yeah, it's always great to have them travel to us and that's, like, instead of us traveling to them. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a long trip. Uh, but no, it's, we're excited. Michigan Tech is an extremely solid team. Uh, they were probably one of the early favorites to possibly you know take the GLIAC this year, and they've been playing really well. Uh, very solid team with a couple of D1 transfers and some new freshmen that are playing the lineup. And then Lake State's just always tough also. I mean, it's a little easier to play them, you know, here on our courts. Their courts are a little difficult to play on. 
but we can't look past you know the, their ability level and so it's going to be a great match and hopefully you know we get a great crowd out for this last weekend of tennis uh, and, and we can compete well. How important are these next couple weekends here, uh, your final matches uh, during the regular season to help prepare you for the conference tournament at the end of the month? Yeah, they're, they're extremely important. Obviously, we'd love to be a top four seed in the GLIAC championship. Last year, we won as a six seed. So if we were a four seed, it would give us a little bit more comfort uh, knowing that we've earned it and that we've worked hard and that we you know, get that first round matchup that we would like. Uh, so these next two weeks are really important. I, th I think that uh, we're going to play some very good you know, teams You know, next week. The following week, we play Ashland and Wayne State. And Wayne State won their conference tournament last year, not the regular season. And you know, and they're out to try to, you know, clean up the regular season this year. So, so I think it's important. That's why these next two weeks are just so crucial to, you know, have the, the ladies really pay attention to details in practice in the classroom and then when we're traveling. Shifting gears uh, here quickly to the men's side. Uh, obviously, the head coach of the men's team as well, and I know they had a, a strong performance at the ITA regionals. Maybe maybe talk about that event. Yeah, it, it was it was a great tournament for us. You know, we had the same mindset of going in and really working on some things that, you know, we knew that we wanted to, focus on that we could take into the off season the rest of the fall and, and, and get ready for our sp spring season. And then uh, out of nowhere, our freshman Yannick uh, made her from, from Germany. You know, we knew he had the talent, and then all of a sudden he just came out of nowhere and uh, threw out the draw, beat the six seed, the three seed, the two seed, who was the you know national uh, regional champion last year. Uh, and then he lost in the finals in a close match. Uh, but it's pretty exciting. We find out this Thursday if he qualifies for a, the ITA national championships, where, which will be a week from Thursday. Uh, so it was really neat, and the, the team really got behind them, and it was a lot of fun to see someone from Ferris really be at that level. And 128-person draw, and he was the final two, so that was pretty exciting. Well, Coach, congratulations on what's been a, an outstanding fall so far, and uh, best of luck uh, to your women's team as uh, you get back in action at home this Saturday and Sunday. Thanks, Rob. Appreciate it. That'll do it for Ferris Sports Update. A reminder, you can follow all the results and get all the action online at ferrisstatebulldogs.com. Have a great week.